I've just finished this great new upcycle sewing project using two sweaters and a cut velvet scarf. Along the way, I took time to video both the design process and every single step of the construction. And now I've edited it into this tutorial so that you can follow along to create a jacket of your own, much like it. I'll start off with a quick tour around the details of my jacket and then give you a few samples of construction techniques that you'll learn in this tutorial. Let me point out some more details about this garment. Right here, I... Let me point out some more details about this garment. Right here, I made little loops out of that Panay stretch velvet. I actually just, it, it rolled, so I just let it roll and stitched it. I tucked it in right here, these strips, before I stitched this down so they're caught here, and then I flipped them over and stitched down here so that they will stay out. I've got an antique bake-like button right here, and since these buttons I felt would be too much just on this loose sweater, I put a patch of that felted wool sweater. Actually, it was just two sleeves that were in my stash for a long, long time right here onto which I stitched the buttons. On the pocket, cut it not straight up and down because there are angles all over here in this knitting pattern of the sweater. So I thought that would help accentuate that or go with it. And then the top just seemed to dip a little bit, so I let it dip a little bit more. I did stitch it on with monofilament thread. I tacked right here in the corners. So my stitching is actually in here, and then I tacked at each of the corners, again, using monofilament thread. Both the sleeve seam and the side seams are strap seams. And this just happened in the back. I think it's truly cool. Do you see how the yoke kind of goes like this? Now, I did not cut it like that. It just kind of happened, but I think it's ever so much more interesting than if it had stayed straight. I think it's just the tension pulling down here and then in the armhole that that happened. And the reason I made this cut here was because it was just too big around the neck. I had to take about three inches out. So I cut it, I decided to cut off center. And since I had that going on, and threes are always good, three, 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 odd numbers. Now do you see I've got one, two, three. And those are all very flattering lines, making the shoulders look wider and accentuating the vertical. The sleeves are totally as they were. I did have to cut them out and recut them. I used a pattern to cut the armholes and the sleeve caps, but that's really all I used a pattern for on this garment. And uh-oh, it does fit me, <laughs> but I really don't need it. What happens then is that I just price it higher. You can make one just like it, or pretty much like it, with an extra tall, big man sweater, a coordinating sweater that you felt, or you wouldn't even really have to felt it, and then some glitzy woven fabric for the bindings. Catch this in my sweater tutorial. Here I am at the ironing station ready to press, and it's gonna go this way, but do you see I have all the bulk of these two seam allowances here. I'm going to grade the seam, and in grading, you always want to trim the undermost one to a lesser width. In other words, the one that's closest to the top where people see it, as my old friend Julie Barlip said, the public side, that stays the longest. Do you see that's what I've done down here? Do you see that the under seam allowance is shorter in width than the upper seam allowance? So then to stabilize the neckline, I stay stitched about a half an inch away from the neckline. And here to stabilize the front, I'm using woven fusible stay tape. And this is on the inside of the sweater. I put a pin at the bottom and a pin at the top here on my ironing surface so that when I do the same to the remaining side front, 
I can make sure that I stay it to the same length. For lots of fun and help with any type of sewing, come learn and sew with me. My Sunroom Sewing Studio here in Jackson, Tennessee is huge and fully stocked. Find a sewing friend and call to make a reservation for a sewing escape.